Well, uh, yeah, Harry's euphoria is short-lived because uh, he's just come back from uh, a curd shop after losing his wallet. Uh, and he has a complete breakdown. All my money I have in the world was in that pouch. A karmic review here. Just, uh, Eddie is a notorious well-known thief you know, sticking rubies out of uh, Valerie's purse on the house. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he stole money from Valerie and Kamandu and blamed it on a, another hippie who was attracted to her. Yeah, let's set up him, steal her money and set up his boyfriend. Is well, Harry protests, how do the shopkeepers, uh, how could they keep my wallet in, and, and look me in the eye and say, I haven't seen it? <laughs> uh, Valerie holds, uh, scolds Harry, uh, you know exactly how that's done. Look, she reaches into her Indian shoulder bag and withdraws 50 trips of LSD for her hapless husband to get him started. Dealing drugs again, yeah. Mm -hmm. Valerie, <laughs> hypochondriac, yeah, incurable hypochondriac. Her head is a mess from the cramped ride uh, in the endless mail van trip, sitting husband on one side, hipster Eddie, Mm -hmm. On the other side, she needs psychological healing, she figures, from a doctor here. And uh, so uh, she goes to an Afghan doctor. Why is he moistening his lips? Um, mm -hmm. And uh, advises the vulnerable French chick, uh, take off your panties. Um... And after deep probing of her pussy, uh, he finds nothing wrong. <laughs> but Valerie is a fast learner. You know, she she vows never to waste time with Afghani's doctors again. <laughs> Eddie sighs. Let's hope so. But Oh, now comes my favorite uh, story called Flip Out Theater, Chapter 27, yeah. 1971-72, winter season in Gaul. His sixth trip to Gaul, he's 47, yeah. Well, this adventure uh, for Eddie in the kingdom of Afghana, refreshes him because he like did something different from his normal migratory bird uh, you know pattern uh, he never actually returns to Pakistan and Afghanistan ever again for the last 39 years of his life you know. he lives exclusively in India and Nepal you know. <sighs> Eddie's so grateful to be back in his ruins. I mean, it's just a porch with some crack white pillars. The rest of the house is falling down in the back behind the porch. So he's, yeah. Uh, the Christmas party on the hill. Oh, that should be fun. Uh, no one has jumped into a well lately. Hmm. Uh, he subver surveys his camp followers. Yeah. Oh, there's a hippie providing a rough ha haircut. Get those dreadlocks off him, huh? Chopping at his dreadlocks with a rusty axe? Sparks fly. Yeah. Eddie, so pleased with his winter world headquarters. Uh, he muses. Yeah, I mean, squatting in organized rubble. Advantages. Uh Low maintenance. No rent. Uh, well, the going owner of the ruins on a visit back from London uh, 
He makes a simple request to Eddie. Look, um, don't let other goans steal these uh, squares of lava stone blocks that used to be my house. You know that? Well, I mean, they're scattered haphazardly all over. Eddie, boom, boom. Yeah, don't worry, okay. Uh, Eddie reassures him, yeah. Well, a director of the absurd. Master of Madness Theater? Flip out theater? Mm -hmm. oh. Eddie surveys his cast of characters in his seasonal winter run. Who's here? Uh, Jenny, Johanna, Chris, Vias, uh, Cindy, Monique, uh, Pierre. Uh, and then, you know, like my regular star performers, Valerie. She's such a whiter shade of pale. Uh, Harry. Harry? Jack. Kurt. Mm -hmm. Larry. And, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. and then those other theatrical wannabes. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, they sleep on the Porsche, uh, which is covered <laughs> a little bit. Uh, like, yeah, like sardines in a row. Oh, no. And how close a, a freak sleeps to Eddie? I mean, it's a major drama. Well, his long-established resident uh, queen, Valerie, sleeps, uh, is permitted to sleep right next to him on his right side. And uh, his uh, informal bodyguard, Chris, is permitted to sleep on his left. Mm-hmm. Chris and Valerie snuggle. Beautiful bird sound. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, they snuggle up to Eddie's half-asleep body. And uh, these um, nightly spats are uh, between uh, uh, Chris and Valerie. They're kind of like, spatting over his body. Uh, Eddie, look, he moves in Johanna to his immediate right and displaces Valerie to the other side of her so he can get some sleep. V v Valerie does not take this lying down. She threatens to jump into a well. Okay. While this is going on, Johanna is micro creeping closer to Eddie's body. By bedazzling him with her death trap. Oh, yeah, she's a shaman, she reckons. Oh, uh, yeah. Mm hmm. And she uh, re, uh, uh, guides this death process ritual. <laughs> well, uh, when Johanna uh, 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 hands me her death trip guide at David and Sherry's next door, all the, well, the tiny hairs on my forearms go up uh, involuntarily. 